is my daddy. And my name is Daisy. I want to tell you about my daddy, so I have to tell you about the terrible thing that happened to me. It all started when Mummy went on holiday to feud with Uncle Barry. Boo! <laughs> Daddy got an eye infection, so he started taking medicine. Mummy sent me a postcard. He said there wasn't anything wrong with him, but he kept itching his eyes. And he had a runny nose. <laughs> That's when I realised he'd become allergic to Molly. Hello, my name's Daisy. Hi, Daddy said that Mummy would be back at any moment. So we should make the most of our time that we had on our own. <laughs> Can you put me on your shoulders, Daddy? Uh, let's always come here. Daddy! Daddy! The medicine made Daddy say nonsicles. Daddy, if Mummy loves me, why didn't she take me on holiday? You can still love someone and not be with them. That's non-school study. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Then the most wonderful thing happens. exactly what Molly looked like when Mummy brought her home. Daddy, what are reptilians? Can I help? Wow! How's this? <gasps> Imagine the most best thing you ever saw. Not a constrictor or even a venomous. Just a blue-bellied python. I decided to call him Blueberry. While we were out getting Blueberry, Mummy called to say that she was really missing me. You have zero messages. I couldn't wait for Mummy to meet Blueberry because Daddy said she loves snakes. <laughs> Daddy said that Mummy wanted Blueberry to borrow her favourite coat. Daddy said it would fit Blueberry perfectly. Then the holiday started so I could play with Blueberry all day. Daddy always had to work, so he couldn't join in. Hey, Blueberry, of course I'll marry you. Me and Blueberry did everything together, except eat. Let Blueberry sleep with me and Molly. Cuddles with Blueberry were lovely and made me and Molly very happy. <coughs> when 
when Blueberry needed more food, me and Daddy got some. But Daddy's car wouldn't work, so we had to walk all the way into town. Can you put me on your shoulders, Daddy? Blueberry's tummy was always rumbling. And then I made a nasty discovery. Hungry. But he hadn't eaten his tea. So we cooked lots of lovely food for Blueberry. Yum, fish fingers. But he didn't like anything. Daddy said not to worry, the vet would make Blueberry better. Remembered, Mummy used to say that half of the pets that go to the vets are never seen again. Well, maybe he'd be happier without us. which swallow their prey whole and alive. These wriggly characters don't need tape measures. If they're not sure if they've got enough room for their prey, they'll get alongside it just to check if it'll fit into their elasticated bellies. And they'll even starve themselves to make room for something really special. someone and then lose them. Yeah. But it's great when you find them again. Nonsicles. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! 
seen fairies. Tree fairies. What? 